good morning all so this is the projection of planes problem from the question bank from the video for the engineering visualization subject okay as we have solved till problem number 5 because problem number 4 and 5 are similar now we move on to the problem number 6 here in this problem we have given a rectangular lamina and it is resting on the shorter edge on the VP plane and surface makes an angle with respect to VP. So first I will construct X, Y line then I will take rectangle of dimension 30 into 20 and place it with the shorter edge, shorter edge here it is 20 mm. So write again X, Y, VP, HP. So we have to consider the first quadrant as a reference. width give 30 and height 20 and place it with the shorter edge here on the VP plane ok so measure the dimensions ok write down the notations and draw the projection lines to complete the top view <coughs> okay. So here B and C are not visible, that's why B and C are done within brackets. <coughs> Select the top view, go to move command, create a copy of it and slide along the line. And now we can give the inclinations. So inclination to the VP. So here I'll give angle of inclination 30 degree. Okay. So inclination below the XY line means minus 30 we have to give. Okay. Draw the projection lines to complete the second position front view. And write A dash b dash c dash and d dash go to thick line ok second position top view completed and trim it off these extra lines you can see now longer side of the plane is inclined at dash degree to VP that means we should take that uh, longer edge and we have to give the angle of inclination here first I will be drawing an angle line ok angle of inclination here I will give 45 degree I will select this second position front piece. Ok, creates a copy of it and select the vertical edge here. I will select this B dash. Go to rotate. Select this B dash to C dash. And place it on the angle line. Then project downward to complete the final position.
complete the final position by joining with the thick line so this completes the problem problem number 6 from the vtu question bank now we move on to the problem number 7 so problem number 7 is an equilateral triangle and it is resting on the edge with respect to the vp plane and here we have to give angle of inclination with respect to vp and angle of inclination to the hp okay so draw x y line <coughs> mention vp hp here triangle we have to construct on the vp plane with respect to the side go to polygon by center and select number of sides 3 randomly place it the edge now go to smart dimension select the vertical edge and change the dimension to 25 so now we have constructed a triangle with respect to dimension 25 with respect to the side on the vp plane now can give the notations naming for it draw the projection lines to complete the top view first position top view you can give the angle of inclination go to move command create a copy of it and go to rotate give the angle okay. draw the projection lines to complete the second position front view write the namings for it you can see in the question we have to consider the sides one of the sides of the triangle of right inclination to the hp in order to give inclination to hp we should consider the edge here so draw an angle line you can draw here angle line however it is possible no problem but when you are placing with the lamina so you have to be careful okay you have to place it with the edge here okay select the second position front view go to move select the end point a now rotate now draw the projection lines downward okay now write the final notations okay this completes the problem you can subscribe for the channel hit on the bell icon for the latest notifications and share it to maximum students so that they can be benefited from this now we move on to the problem number 8 so in this problem a circular lamina of dash radius appears as an ellipse of dash major axis and dash minor axis in the v from the above in the v from the above means it is nothing but the front v draw the projections okay so first i will construct an circle okay then i will draw the uh, ellipse by using major axis and minor axis dimensions again then i'll complete the final position 
so draw the xy line right vphp go to circle so here in the diameter i'll give diameter 50 by considering a radius of 25 okay now i'm going to divide this circle into four equal parts write down the namings for it write a dash b dash c dash and d dash now project it downward to complete the first position top view So here in the top view, so I'll be drawing with the thick line from one end to other end. So it will be easy for us uh, when we draw the second position inclination, okay? Because in this problem, he has not given any kind of inclination. He is just telling that we need to use the major axis and minor axis dimensions to construct the ellipse here, okay? So what I'll do is for the major axis. I'll be projecting horizontally okay, from these end points. Okay, I'll consider major axis as 50 mm, 50. Okay, from the middle point, for the minor axis, I'll consider 25, means from one end, I'll consider 12.5. Okay, the same way from that middle point, other end, again 12.5. Okay. Now I'll go to, so just I'll show the major axis dimension and minor axis. So go to distance between command. So now you can go to the ellipse, ellipse by center point. So from the center point, take major axis dimension and the minor axis and construct the ellipse here. So ellipse is constructed with the major and minor axis here. Okay, but uh, we don't know the angle, so to find out the angle in the top view, so we have to find out the angle here. So draw the projection lines. So we have to measure this uh, front V dimension. It is uh, so go to arc by center, measure radius 50, and cut the arc. So connect it with the thick line to find out the angle because we don't know how much angle it has been inclined so that in the second position it is converted into ellipse so we are finding out angle so the angle we are getting here 60 degree okay, now so second arc also I'll cut so it is exactly at 25 mm Okay, to construct the final position, so I'll select this uh, second position top view and create a copy. I'll make uh, here, so one end of the minor axis uh, touching the XY line and then I'll rotate this. So that's how we'll complete the final position because uh, he has not given anything 
in order to construct the final position okay so select the end of the minor axis and place it on the xy then go to rotate select the ends of the minor axis and then rotate and place it like this Um, project downward to complete the final position you can subscribe for the channel and hit on the bell icon for the latest notifications and share it to the maximum students so that they can be benefited from this so these are the question bank solutions for the VTU engineering visualization subject Okay, go to the curve command here. Okay, thank you for watching the video. You can share it to the maximum students so that they can be benefited from this. Thank you all. Thank you for watching the video.